Good morning, everyone. I am Rodeline Yassis from the Department of the Filipino, and I am here today to discuss with you about the triatric tribe intelligence by Robert Sternberg. First, let's define what is triatric theory of intelligence by Robert Sternberg. So, what is triatric theory of intelligence? The triatric theory of intelligence proposes that there are three distinct types of intelligence. Practical, distinct, and analytical. It was formulated by Robert Sternberg, a well-known psychologist whose research often focuses on human intelligence and creativity. The theory proposed by psychologist Robert G. Sternberg contends that there are three types of intelligence, which is the practical, creative, and analytical. Creative, the ability to come up with new ideas. Practical, the ability to get along in a different context. The analytical, the ability to evaluate information and solve problems. The theory is compressed of three sub -theories. The contextual, experiential, and componential. Each sub corresponds to one of three proposed types of intelligence. Let's find out what is the origin of the triatic tree of intelligence. Sternberg proposed his theory in 1985 as an alternative to the idea of general intelligence factor. The general intelligence factor, also known as the G, is what intelligence tests typically measure. It refers only to academic intelligence. So now, let's proceed to the sub -theories. Sternberg broke his theory down into the following three sub -theories which is the contextual sub -theory, experiential sub -theory, and the componential sub -theory. First is the contextual sub -theory. The contextual sub -theory says that intelligence is intertwined with the individual environment. Then, experiential sub -theory. The experiential sub -theory proposes that there is a continuum of experience from novels to automation to which intelligence can be applied. The third sub is Componential sub -theory. The Componential sub outlines the various mechanisms that results in intelligence. According to Sternberg, this sub is comprised of three kinds of metal processor of components, which is meta components, performance components, knowledge acquisition components. First is meta components. It is enables to monitor, control, and evaluate our mental processing so that we can make decisions, solve problems, and create plans. Next is performance components. Are what enable us to take action on the plans and decisions arrive at the meta components. Then the third one, knowledge acquisition components enable us to learn new information that will help us carry out our plans. So, we go on to the kinds of intelligence. Each sub reflects a particular kind of intelligence or ability. There are three types of intelligence, which is practical intelligence, creative intelligence, and analytical intelligence. First is practical intelligence. So, what it is? Practical intelligence, Sternberg called one's ability to successfully interact with the everyday world practical intelligence. Practical intelligence is related to contextual sub -theory. Practical intelligence, people are especially adept behaving in certain external environment. Then next is creative intelligence. The experiential sub -theory is related to creative intelligence which is one's ability to use existing knowledge to create new ways to handle new problems or cope in new situations. Then, the third intelligence is analytical intelligence. Analytical intelligence. The componential sub is related to analytical intelligence, which is an essentially academic intelligence. Analytical intelligence is used to solve problems and is the kind of intelligence that is measured by standard IQ test. Sternberg observed that all three kinds of intelligence are necessary for successful intelligence, which refers to the ability to 
successful in life based on one's abilities, personal desires, and environment. Now, I'm going to discuss with you the explanation example of each intelligence. First, I'm going to discuss with you about the practical intelligence. Practical intelligence relates to how you react your environment and your ability to adapt to it or change it to sort your needs. Practical intelligence is the ability to thrive in real world. You might compare practical intelligence to common sense or street marks. It involves the ability to understand how to deal with everyday tasks. If you are analyzing someone's level of practical intelligence, you might ask yourself questions like, how did this person relate to worlds around them? Are they adept at dealing with everyday experiences? Could someone take advantage of this person easily? So, here's the example for practical intelligence. Let's look an example using Anne. She wants to purchase a used car and doesn't want to be taken advantage of so. She is prepared with price comparisons and doesn't let the salesman stalk her into purchasing any unnecessary extras. Because of this, she gets a better price than the person who bought a similar card the day before. So, it explains what that kailangan maging practical sa pagbili ng mga bagay. Sa panahon ba naman ngayon na marami ng gasto, kaya kailangan mo maging practical sa pagbili upang makatipid ka ng pera. The second intelligence is creative intelligence. Creative intelligence relates to the way a person approaches new information or new task. You may also hear a creative intelligence referred to experiential intelligence. It involves a person's ability to apply their existing knowledge to new problems. If you're assessing a person's level of creative intelligence, you might ask questions like, How quickly can this person solve a new problem when presented with it? Can they automatically apply a new skills when they're presented with the problem again? So here is the example for creative intelligence. There are two categories for creative intelligence, novelty and automatization. Novelty concerns how a person reacts the first time they encountered something new. Automatization concerns how a person learns to perform repeated tasks automatically. Our friend Mark demonstrates skills daily in both these categories. Mark is a spy. He often has to quickly come up with the new plans to address the situations he's placed in. Part of the reasons he can do this so adeptly is because this ability to easily reapply ideas he has used before to new situations. So, sa creative intelligence, kailangan mo maging creative to adapt new situations. Para maging maganda ang kakalabasan nito, pag nag-come up na ng plan, it's analytical intelligence. Analytical intelligence relates to how person processes and analyzes information. You may also hear analytical intelligence referred to as confidential intelligence. You could also think of analytical intelligence as book smart since it is similar to traditional definitions of IQ and academic achievement. Here is the example for analytical intelligence. For analytical intelligence, Alex is organizing his fantasy baseball team in preparation for the draft. He compiled a spreadsheet of each MLB pitcher's era and other stats to ensure that he picks the best performing pitches. For my conclusion, there have been a number of critics and challenges to Sternberg Triachic Trove Intelligence over the years. For example, educational psychologist Linda Gottfriedson says that the theory lacks a solid empirical basis and subserves that the data used to back up the theory is meager. In addition, some scholars argue that practical intelligence is redundant with the concept of job knowledge a concept that is more robust and has been better researched. Finally, 
Sternberg on definitions and explanation of his term and concepts have at times been imprised.